Hi and welcome to Great Expectations. For many women, falling pregnant happens easily and naturally, but for others, it's a heartbreaking effort that's not always successful. But with egg donation, there is hope, and we have some experts with us this morning to tell us how it works. Jenny Curry is the owner of an egg donation agency. We're also joined by fertility specialist Dr. Marina Stro and egg donor Liliosa Maseko. So, Marina, so I'm going to start with you. Can you just explain for us what exactly egg donation is? Egg donation is a medical procedure whereby we actually stimulate the donor to, to produce more eggs, which we then harvest from our ovary, fertilize it in the laboratory using a partner sperm, and then it is then transferred back into the recipient's womb for her to carry the pregnancy. Okay. I believe that the first uh, egg donor pregnancy in South Africa took place in 1986. Yeah, so it's been around for a long time, uh -huh. but it's only in the last few years where we actually did m more uh, due to, I think, the egg donor agencies uh, might, might, might more awareness in terms of egg donors, and so we are having more donors around these days than we had before. Who typically needs eggs? Uh, I think that it is about two things. It's either about people not producing eggs, and that can be people who are in premature menopause or older women that, that, uh, that only produce a few eggs, mm -hmm. and then also people that produce poor quality eggs, mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and have repeated failed IVF sure. uh, uh, cycles, and then there are people that carry genetic diseases where we w want to, to eliminate the, those the genetic diseases by then replacing the egg from a donor to avoid those specific conditions. Okay. Jenny, you run an egg donor agency. You've been doing so for five years yes, now. Yes, going on okay. five years. Um, what exactly is it that you do? Marenas explained that the donor agencies have made it possible for this phenomenon to grow in South Africa. For starters, it is about creating awareness. It's about communicating to potential people who are interested in becoming donors and also communicating and creating awareness to people who are struggling with infertility that there is this option to help them conceive and the option is uh, egg donors who can come forward and help them. The process of running an egg donor agency or rendering egg donor services is facilitating the process. Egg donation in South Africa is anonymous and confidential, mm -hmm. so these two parties don't get in touch with one another. Okay. So our role is to support both parties and communicate between them without actually divulging any confidential details. So do you have, you have women that you know who are interested in donating, you've got donors on your books, is yes. that how it works? Yes, donors come forward, they complete an application form, we do a high level screening or assessment to confirm that their BMI is healthy, mm -hmm. that they don't have any specific genetic dis disorders or diseases that can carry over, but we state the facts of what they, what, who they are and what kind of people they are, what their medical background is, so that recipients can also see this information and be informed. So so that they know what their genetic child will will be made of, sure. what, what pre diseases or issues they're predisposed to. Sure, okay. So Liliosa, you made the decision to donate your eggs. Why did you do that? Um, basically, it was just to help other women who don't have what I have, mm -hmm. who can't um, bear children, who don't have that gift to have children. Mm. 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 So I, I started last year, actually. Okay. Okay, and I mean, it, you, like Jenny was saying, uh, you once you give the egg away, mm -hmm. you don't know who it's going to go to. You don't have any contact with the the child that could result from this egg. How do you feel about that? It is okay with me because uh, I just feel that it's it. They're just my genes. Mm -hmm. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, so I don't have a problem with that. Jenny, what are the basic legalities around egg donation? Firstly, that it is anonymous and confidential, so recipients can never be in touch with donors. There's also no egg donor registry in South Africa, and that makes it very um, accommodating and attractive for South Africans because it means that people can go through this process, conceive without divulging the intimate details of the conception to anybody else. Okay. It also is an attractive option for, for foreigners who are battling because they can come to South Africa and conceive and go home without revealing anything else. Ah. For egg donors, it's, it's great because it means that they discuss with their families, they get the support and consent from their partners, but at the end of the donation, that's the end of their commitment. They can go on, have families, it, it doesn't infringe on their families or, or have any further impact. 
Why is it better to go through an agency if you want to donate? We feel that it is actually better to go through an anonymous egg donor program. For donors, it is an emotional process and for recipients it is also an emotional process so we like to support those two parties separately without sharing the, the details with one another. We also think that um, if they are in touch with one another you may have unresolved emotions or issues that come up later on in life where perhaps a donor doesn't have children yeah. and now she's in contact with the lady who has conceived through her donor eggs and now the recipient doesn't have the power of keeping that aspect confidential anymore mm. and you never know in a moment she's actually saying that's actually my child and that's that's not a, a situation we want to create. I know that I mean as, as an agency you have your own costs that you incur there's medical costs also involved does the recipient get a fee for giving up their eggs? The recipient? I mean I'm sorry not the, the recipient eggs? the donor I apologize that's my mistake. Does the donor, is it, is it, what I'm trying to dispel is, is, do people pay for eggs, you know? People do not pay for eggs. Okay. There's no payment for egg, for eggs in South Africa. Donors get an agreed donation that's okay. been determined and identified by the committees in the country. And that's really as a gesture of the inconvenience. It's for their time to avail themselves for a day of work, for going into the clinic, for injecting themselves and just the, incon the sheer inconvenience and for participating, but they don't get paid for doing that. Okay, okay. And how many people are, how many uh, donors are used every year in South Africa? We don't have an exact uh, account of that because there is no registry, so there's no central database, but there is certainly a large number of donor programs that are facilitated in the country. There's, I mean, we've been involved in hundreds in the last couple of years. Okay. Marinas, I think a lot of people have questions about the actual procedure. What, what happens medically? And also, is it painful? Is it painful for the donor? Okay. Uh, what basically happens from the medical side is, is that obviously after the donor has been selected, we will see her evaluate her. Uh, from a medical point of view, we do blood tests and she gets evaluated psychologically by a psychologist. Sure. We then would, uh, the process itself. Yeah, the, the medical procedure the, itself. Yeah, the donor would, would, would be stimulated using injections. That's daily injections, which will last for about seven to ten days. Okay. Uh, it's like diabetic injections, very small, thin needles, so it's not a, a, a very painful injection Okay, as such. it's not sore. Yeah. Okay. So after the 7 to 10 days of stimulation, we, we would then obviously monitor with ultrasound to see how the eggs are growing. Yes. And, and the, the eggs would then be harvested from, from an ovary, and that is a, a procedure which we do under sedation or, or general anesthetic, uh -huh. where we actually, it's a needle procedure. So we put a needle into the ovary, and we aspirate the, the egg from the ovary. So there's, there's no incisions or, or cuts or anything like that. So it's all done, done actually uh, under ultrasound guidance. So the eggs that we then uh, get from there is then fertilized mm -hmm. and is grown in the laboratory by means of a standard IVF procedure. So okay. we would grow the eggs for five days in the, la in the laboratory up, uh, so that it developed up to a point and is then transferred into the, into the um, recipient's oh. uterus afterwards. One question I'd like to ask is, does egg donation affect the fertility of the donor? Okay, I think that's th th that's a question a lot of people would ask is and people might ask is whether the eggs would, de would be depleted. Mm -hmm. I think the first thing is that a person can get pregnant at the point uh, during the process because we, we don't always get all the eggs, we harvest all the eggs, so they need to be careful in oh. that sense. The second thing is, is that you can't use up your eggs by donating eggs because we are, the eggs that we use or, or that we harvest is, is eggs that would have died of in any case. So, okay. we, so we can't get into your reserve, to, to put it in, in, in simple sure. terms. So, 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 so it does not affect your long-term fertility. So there are more eggs in my body than I can use in this life. Yeah. You, you, uh, people think that you only use, lose one egg that you ovulate. Sure. But you're actually losing quite a number of eggs in a month. Uh, because only one is destined to ovulate, the ah. others die, actually die off. We call it, we, we say that they become a treatic, where they actually uh, would actually uh, resolve and, and die off. So, 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 so the ones that we actually stimulate in, in the egg donation process mm -hmm. is the ones who are, who are destined to actually the die off. The ones that are most viable. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.